Hello guys, today we will talk about um, how we can create beautiful wallpapers uh, using Adobe Stock images. I have opened my uh, first document uh, I downloaded from Adobe Stock and, and I, right now I will add uh, another layer. Just simply click on your um, library item and drag over uh, your document. I will resize it. Click OK. And now I would like to apply blending mode. And uh, let's go and uh, choose the right one for our um, image. Let me see. Let me see what I kind of like screen, but let let's see. Oh, overlay, overlay I like um, much better. So um, I will uh, change opacity of my layer, bring it down, just like that. And what I can do right now, I will select my uh, background layer, first layer. I will add empty layer. We'll go to filter menu, render, and tree filter. Why I'm applying a tree filter uh, as a separate layer? Just because um, if I'm applying filter um, as a separate layer, I can modify, I can move, I can resize, I can apply any effect to my layer later on. So uh, we have many, many beautiful um, trees, default trees. Let's see. Probably like that. We can change a uh, light direction. Maybe like that. Let's see. Yes, we can change a leaves amount. No leaves. Leaves. We can change a leaf size. Let me see. It's too much for my project. Um, branch is high. Let me bring it down. And branches, thickness. Let me see. Yes, like that. Also, we can uh, use default leaves, uh, randomized shapes, and everything like that. But now I will switch to my advanced mode, and I would like to change um, a color of my leaves just to uh, make it more complementing to my uh, entire project. Click and just like that. Click OK. Also, I can uh, change color of my um, branches. I want something like that. Click OK. And probably I will change um, color for my leaves. How about that? Let's see. Okay, click OK. And as you can see, uh, this is uh, what I was talking about. I have my uh, tree filter as separate layer and I can do anything I want to to my layer. But right now I want to resize, make it smaller and bring on top of my um, rock. So like that maybe let me see yes click ok now i will resize my image and as you can see we have beautiful tree but it's like a uh, object um, just inserted into your into your image uh, what i can do i will apply um, a layer mask i will use a simple brush with a black color on it I will make size of my a brush smaller and I will just erase like a my tree standing behind this rock. Let me zoom in more. If I'm paint, painted out more than I wanted, no problem i'm switching color of my brush from uh the black to the white and i'm painting back 
part of my tree. Voila, we have beautiful tree. And um, as we can see, we have different uh, rock um, lighting effect. So we need to apply same uh, lighting effect to our tree. How we can do it? I will apply um, adjustments and I will apply adjustments as a separate layer uh, for the same reason, uh, just because I can um, um, remove my uh, delete my adjustment layer i can um adjust my adjustments layer later on so let me apply exposure and i want to apply exposure only to my tree just like that and also i would like to apply probably curves let me see I want to apply curves to another uh, entire project, not only to the tree, like that. And also, I will select right now my uh, background, and I would like to apply a color lookup, fall colors. And because I applied my adjustment as a separate layer, I can bring opacity down of this layer. Something like that. Also, I will change uh, uh, adjustment, exposure adjustment. I will bring opacity down. And for curves. Like that. Let me zoom in. And this is our image guys um one second one second maybe i will apply another adjustment maybe brightness contrast let me see yes brightness contrast and our image is ready guys how easy is it uh, we used only two adobe stock images and we used um default photoshop a filter tree thank you guys and i will see you later